to a vlog. Um, this is going to be New York Fashion Week prep, which I asked about on Instagram. I said you want to see it. I'll walk you through everything I've done so far. Um, Maya comes at 10 and we're going to plan out all the outfits for the schedule because my schedule should be a little more finalized. It still won't be like the final schedule, but we'll plan out the outfits for the schedule. Um, and then I have two calls today that I have to show like my face for. Um, so we're at my vanity right now. We're just going to get like just a tiny smidge of togetherness. This portion of the video is in partnership with Bobby Brown. You guys know I'm an ambassador. I think I've been an ambassador for a year or two years. Um, I absolutely love them and they have a new concealer and that's all I'm going to wear today. I'm just going to, you know, spot conceal a few little spots and then do my under eyes so I look awake. I put on Bobby Brown eye base. I've been talking about this for a very long time. I wear the face base and the eye base with or without makeup. It's a primer, but it's also a moisturizer, super hydrating. I'll put like all of the like technical things on the screen, um, but I absolutely love it. I have dry skin, I have eczema prone skin, and especially now that we're transitioning into fall, like everything is just getting drier already. Like the last time I washed my hair, <laughs> It was drier. My face when I wake up in the morning, it's drier. So yeah, so I'm gonna put on the face base and the eye base, but I highly recommend the eye base, especially if you deal with like concealer, um, like settling or like cracking throughout the day, just like settling into fine lines, that kind of stuff. Or you just have, some people have really dry under eyes. I don't actually, the majority of my face is drier than my under eye, um, but if you deal with that, the um, eye base is super hydrating moisturizing and just creates a great um kind of foundation for any concealer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now we look a little better we're getting there a few shades typically when i'm wearing makeup i would do a brighter under eye since we're not wearing makeup i kind of just want this to mimic my skin just a little better like I want all of my skin to kind of be this shade and just look even instead of like you know some of the hyperpigmentation I have yeah I'm gonna try this one these are full coverage concealers 16 hour wear and what I like about this product and all Bobbi Brown products is that they focus on the skin and making sure that the ingredients they put in the products actually benefit your skin and don't make you know if you have skincare issues don't make it worse so I'm just gonna do a little on my chin yeah and then a little here, a little spot there. And this has a flexible formula. So it's supposed to prevent, like I was talking about, the creasing and the settling. It's supposed to kind of like move with your skin. Uh, so I'm gonna use a brush. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good color. You know it's full coverage, it is very lightweight, which is good. Cause I don't wanna feel like I have a full face on today. I have a brighter color just in the inner corner. That's pretty though. If you want a full makeup video, I already have one on my page with all Bobbi Brown products. Um, so I will link that into this. And I'm gonna do on it. Yeah, so look. I like this brush also, if anyone is interested. Mm. Mm -hmm. no. No, no. Of course, I'll link all the Bobbi Brown, um, the new concealers below. I'll also link, this is the eye base again. Um, cannot recommend, honestly, the eye base and the face base. Um, but if you again deal with the under eye like dryness creasing any of that stuff and you need a good primer that's also hydrating highly 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 recommend this and then i will link the skin full cover concealers down below i used just some more clear chestnut yes chestnut and almond so i use chestnut all over my face 
and I used um, almond just like right in that inner corner. I think it gives a very like natural look. I just look awake. Um, so yeah, I'll link all of those below. Let's get into, well, let me get dressed and then get into the fashion week. All right, we're dressed. So first let's go through um, the racks and all of the clothing prep and then I'll give you the backstory of like how I prepared for all of that. So behind me is New York Fashion Week. That's what I'm currently working on. These are all completed looks. Um, so this is kind of what we're working with. Okay, so I'm going from Wednesday to Wednesday. Of course, there's day events, night events. So these are the shoes the clothes um these are just kind of like extra pieces which i learned from the last fashion week just kind of like um you know plain bottoms um just different top options in case someone loans me something and i need to have extra items to pair with um these are all of the jewels that we're gonna take and then these are all the sunglasses that we're gonna take those are just the extra pair of shoulder pads and then these are the bags that we're going to take. So yeah, of course you'll have to watch the New York Fashion Week vlog to see the full looks, but we got some good pieces. Now, if you come out here, so this is my Milan Fashion Week pack. Okay, and I'll walk you through the backstory so it'll make a little more sense. So out here, these are not full outfits yet. These are just pieces that I know I wanna wear, I've thought about wearing, um, that go with the theme I have in mind, or um, new things that I bought. But mostly, I don't think there's, there might be like one or two new things on here, but mostly this is just old stuff that I've pulled out of my closet that I know I wanna wear for this. Those shoes are new though. And then in my closet, which is a little bit of a mess, um, this rack is for Paris. <clears throat> And again, not full outfits, but kind of just pieces that I have pulled out. This um, jacket is new. It's very cool. Oh, I should say. It's off white. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, but again, most of this is just kind of like old stuff that goes with, again, the theme I have in mind for Paris, of what I know I want to wear, what I want the look to be. Okay, I'm just going to pull up this post and try to go through some of the questions. But um, I typically shop... I've probably been shopping since the beginning of summer. Not specifically looking for things, um, but just if anything is special, feels like me, uh, feels like a statement piece, but also wearable. Those are the things that I look for. Yes, I want to stand out. I want to catch photographer's attention to get my picture taken, but I also need to know how to, I'm going to rewear these things. Even if it's for rewearing them for special occasions, um, they have to get more use in my closet than just fashion week. So I've been doing that. It's just like finding little pieces here and there all year <laughs> um and then I got more focused and intentional probably at the beginning of August um so at the beginning of August I made three mood boards which I talk about this all the time when I'm shooting I always have a mood board to just keep me focused and kind of help me visualize what I want to create so for each fashion week I'll pop them up so you can see them um I created a thing that just helps me one it helps me shop so when I'm looking through, you know, especially online shopping, I can, even if I see something cute, I can say like, oh, well, that's not the thing. That's not what we're doing for Paris. So there's no need to be buying that. Even if I like it, I need to focus. Um, I like to stick to some type of color story. It doesn't have to be like two colors or three colors, but just something, again, that I know will translate well all together on my feed. I think through all of this because, <laughs> um, again, I don't want things that clash. And then when I go to post them, I'm like, why does my feed look like shit? So that helped with shopping and prioritizing. And then last week, I really started putting the New York Fashion Week outfits together and saying like, okay, in my mind, this is what I was thinking when I bought this piece. So let's just put that together for now and see what we got. And then I started trying things on last week, seeing if the outfits in my mind translated and if there was any pieces missing. So once I tried on everything on the rack, I realized, okay, I need, um, a red pair of sunglasses for one of the items I needed like um, a very specific white tank top um, for something else what did I need just certain little things oh I needed this kind of necklace to complete the look 
Um, and then yesterday, <laughs> I tried everything on again for the final, final, final look. And then I also took pictures. So, and we'll use those pictures today. Sorry if this is a ramble, but <laughs> that's the explanation. Um, so I tried everything on, complete outfit, every accessory, all of the details. Took a picture in the mirror. But today, Nehemiah can say, okay, so on you know Wednesday, you have this event, which outfit is going into that? Like, which outfit are you gonna wear? And then she can put it into the schedule. So that when I get there, there's no thinking. I just get ready. I know that fashion week looks like a lot of fun, and it is a lot of fun. Um, but until you are at a certain level, this is just a huge expense. <clears throat> expense. So I wanted to put that out there. Um, I This is my first fashion week where I am making money. Um, and at this point, I'm just trying to make back what I spent. Um, but with just with travel, now this is all the cities and this is also, you know, me traveling in comfort. You could do it for a lot cheaper. Um, but the fashion weeks, fashion month, is easily gonna cost us thirty thousand dollars easy like that's with that's not even with like including clothes um now of course we get um loaned some things so i think i got some some a few pieces loaned from shop Bop. um and then once i get there you know someone might invite me to a show and they'll loan me something but just fyi this is a huge expense um, and now it doesn't have to be, do I have to fly business class to go to Paris? No. Do I want to? Yes. <laughs> so just FYI. And also Josh is with me this time. So, um, how you prep the looks, how you align the looks with the event. So we, we'll go through that when Maya gets here, but that is a thought to have, um, which is why we do this, right? So I'm not stressing out about it, but, um, for example, there's a Kate Spade event or a Kate Spade show at 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to wear these red Balenciaga sequence leggings. That don't go, right? Like that doesn't go with the designer and their aesthetic. Um, and that doesn't go with like an event at 10 o'clock in the morning, like, right? Like, so we, you do want to think through that and you want to feel appropriate. Um, that doesn't mean it has to be the designer's items. I think they're sending me a bag to wear, um, but my idea already is that I have um, like a maxi denim skirt and a little crop jacket. Um, that just feels more Americana. Now it's still my style and I like it, but out of the outfits, that one to me says most appropriate for Kate Spade at 10 a.m. It's kind of like a little casual, still very fashion, <laughs> still very elevated, but just a little more easygoing. Well, I'm gonna charge the battery and I'll pick you back up when Maya gets here um, and we'll kind of talk through um, the events. We should get a more concrete schedule today. And then which outfits go with what look um there's some fire though i don't want to give i don't want to give too much away <laughs> because i feel like it'll be much more exciting when you watch the new york fashion Week vlog so i'm very very excited about this all right say hello to people <laughs> um so i just sent her all the outfits um, and we're gonna go through the schedule and then we're gonna start packing. So I don't wanna give all of the looks away. So I had a great idea to at least show you maybe my favorite outfit and then just a few of my favorite pieces I'm excited to wear. One, I mean, I have like three favorites, but I think the one that surprised me the most is the one I'll share because it was a last minute put together, which is this with the green. Okay, so this, and we'll pop up the picture. Yeah, the mirror picture. Um, but this is a blazer from Awake Mo, which is one of my favorite brands. It has the back out. And then this skirt is from Hanifa, which is a black designer. And this came in a set. So initially I was playing around with the set and then I got this blazer and it just came together, you'll see the picture, really nicely with like all of the accessories. I feel like it's, very fashion but it's also very comfortable it's just something i can wear all day comfy shoes i'm wearing my bottega bag with it which i feel like it's also just fashion mm -hmm. so i like i like how this 
get it together. This has a little pin on it. That's a spoon. <laughs> so funny. So I like that. So that's the favorite. That's the top three. The pin does set it off. And it's removable, so if you're not into spoons, you can take it off. Um, favorite accessory is definitely going to be the little Webay sunglasses. I feel like they just make so many outfits. I showed these on Instagram already, but I literally had to get the red last minute. And I am so tempted to get the yellow, but I'm just going to wait until this fashion week is over. We'll see if I feel like I needed them. Also, I would wear them regularly because, you know, I'm an extra kind of person. So, favorite accessory. Um, oh, other favorite accessory is this little choker with a flower. Flowers are coming back. Like peak Sex in the City vibes when the flower was here. Flowers are coming back. So I'm very excited about this. This is an outfit maker as well. And this was from three people. And then, shoes are probably, um, I'm most excited about these. Which actually only go with one outfit, but these will go to Paris too. As I am on. Um, but, oh my God, look how good they look. So these are from Giuseppe Zanotti. But I found them on the outnet for like 60% off. So these are one of those things where it's just like I've been keeping my eyes peeled for just cool, interesting things. And these, oh my God, they look so good. So, very excited about those. I feel like all the bags you've seen. Oh, maybe these two are kind of new. But I'm pretty sure I showed this maybe on something. These are the two, like, I think most interesting bags that I'm taking. So, those are favorites. Okay, so we're gonna get to planning. She's gonna go through the schedule and I'm gonna kind of like let her know which outfit I'm thinking for that. And we'll walk through why just to share with you guys. Um, and then the pictures that I sent her of each outfit, she'll plug in to the schedule. Yes. So, starting on Wednesday, that's your travel day. Um, after that, you get in at noon, your first official event starts at six. We have the Black and Fashion Council. Yes. After that, starting at seven. Which is very exciting. I'm very excited to go. So that's gonna be this outfit that I said was my favorite. Um, cause this is all about black fashion, black designer. So of course I wanna wear black designer there. So I'm gonna wear this Hanifa skirt. And then the Awake Mode blazer. I feel like it's a good representation of me, my style. I always keep those things in mind when I'm gonna be meeting people for the first time. Like I want to exude my best self, but like what feels most like me. I'm a blazer girl, I'm a little edgy, but I also like a skirt. You know, I like to mix the hard and soft. I feel like this outfit does that, feels like me. So that's this. And then we have these pieces if we need to rewear them for something else, mm -hmm. but. Um, and I feel like it's a good night outfit because mm -hmm. I won't be too hot. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you don't have to wear shades with that one. Yeah. So. Okay, Thursday. Thursday <laughs> is a bitch busy. Um, you have your shoot in the morning and then shoot. Which I'm just going to wear a little slip or something. Yeah. Something chill. So this that. is my pile of just extras. <laughs> Jeans, skirts. These are not fashion things, but. Things I'll feel cute in. Mm -hmm. So, slip skirt, and that'll be until 11. Yep, 7 to 11 in Brooklyn. And then we have Shayla Kamari from 5 to 7, which are confirmed for the Amina Iris Fashion Week dinner. That's it. At 6 30. So, it's going to be a busy evening. <laughs> Is that it? No. And then um, you have a birthday party. Oh yes, 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 which that'll be fun. Yes, that'll mm -hmm. be fun. And that's it. Yeah, there's a couple of things that you might get confirmed for. So the Isabel Morant party. Those are just parties, though. Yes. Yeah. Which I'm probably not gonna do. I'm okay. not gonna go to Tiny's birthday party. 
cool. So we need a dinner outfit. And then a party outfit. And then a party outfit. So I'm keeping in mind, these are, I need to pick something that I don't necessarily want to get shit shot or need. Like some of these outfits, I'm like, I want to get photographed. So obviously at just like a intimate dinner party or something like that, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be photographers there mm -hmm. for press opportunities. So I don't want to waste that outfit. <laughs> um, but I also still want to look cute. So I feel like this could be, you know, it's comfortable enough that I could wear it all night. Um, yeah. And I also plan on rewearing this skirt for another fashion week, so it's not like okay. that won't get seen. Yeah. Uh, I could also just do like, yeah, I want to look nice for the jewelry thing. What time is Tommy's party? That doesn't start till 9.30 p.m. Okay, I may just change for that into something a little more casual. I might just do like these cargos and okay. some heels. Okay. And maybe keep on the red top. Oh, that'd be cute. Okay, so yeah. let's, let's do that. Okay. Okay. Because Josh can still shoot this outfit. Like we can sure, shoot it, but sure. I don't really mind if like I don't get press in it. Okay. We got a bright day Friday. Okay. So starting Friday, the Kate Spade presentations from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. And they're providing you with a bag. Right. And then what's after that? After that, you have the Rebecca Minkoff show, which isn't until 5 p.m. Oh, wonderful. Um, but there's a couple other things that you could get confirmed for. So the Heli Elsie. Healthy Healthy presentation, yeah. that's from 10 a.m. to 6, so I think you'll just have to choose a slot. The Ajay presentation, you actually have been confirmed for that. So that's at 1.30 p.m. Okay. So for these, I'm going to keep in mind, these are all day events. And these brands are kind of um, not super over the top. I don't know the word I'm looking for. A little more like, a Kate Spade to me is kind of like classic, kind of Americana-ish. Mm -hmm. um, and then same thing with... Kelsey and Rebecca Minkoff. They're all, you know, just kind of casual, kind of like effortless. And it's a day event. It's gonna start at 10 in the morning or 9.30 mm -hmm. in the morning. So I want something that is day appropriate. Um, so I think I'm gonna do this denim look. Love that. So that just feels appropriate. And then I can interchange the bags pretty easily, like the Kate Spade bag that I'm gonna be loaned. Mm -hmm. The agency presentation. Yes, which they're dressing me for that. Oh, okay. Because it has a D next to it, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, what the, time is that at? That's from 5 to 7 p.m. Okay. So you could do Rebecca Minkoff from 5 to 6, and then you could do the Liage and C from 6 to 7. Mm -hmm. If you really to change. change. Yeah. Or you could probably leave this Rebecca one in there. You know how those presentations are. Yeah. They're pretty quick. So does it have an address for that? Um, it does not have location to be confirmed. So yeah, we'll so have to So that'll, see. yeah, that'll help us decide mm -hmm. how far everything is. And she's going to put in the schedule, the distance from the locations to the hotels, because that obviously will determine if I have time to change or mm -hmm. if I need to order things. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then what's at night? Um, potentially the Blue Marble and Webster presentation from 8 to 9, or sorry, from 6 to 8 p.m. The Carol... Kalina Strata show, the Fina Noel show, which I really want to go to, and then the Fendi show, which I don't think I'm gonna get me invited to. Okay, and most then, of the people that are going to that I've already gotten invites. Okay, and then what else? Um, the Hamas pop up. Okay, probably no. And then Harper Bazaar's Icons event, which is a party. Okay, so <laughs> the night outfit potentially, that potentially a lot. could go to a party. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna. The thing is, if I go to Finoel, I would want to wear something, and I would have to buy something. From them? Yeah, because most of the stuff I have from them is like resort y It's not very like mm -hmm. city vibes. Yeah. Um, so I would just do that in New York. Okay. They carry the mess acts. Okay, cool. What's the other thing? What's the first night thing? I'm not even gonna think about a Fendi outfit. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go to that. Okay. So, other than Rebecca Minkoff, which you've been confirmed for, 
the Liage, which I'll have an option for. So yes. I don't even know if I should. But, should I just plan a? Because here's the thing: I'm not trying to go to all these parties. Yeah, it's a lot of parties. Like it's, that's night. nice. Mm -hmm. It's a nice to do, but I'd rather just go get Kiss some rest. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like we just plan the day outfit on Friday, and then put a note that if we get invited to the Feed No Well show, then we buy something. Mm -hmm. And then also the Lee Agency. That's whatever. that outfit. Mm -hmm. That's that outfit. That's the last confirmed thing for that day. And that's what we're, so the denim look in the Leange outfit and a possible new outfit for Fino. Okay. Let me just make a note of that. Um, also, I, again, you just want to go with the theme for the shows, but there are certain brands that I really love. So I would like to wear something from them. Um, so like the Laquan Smith show, I may get invited to that. It's still not confirmed, but I do have a look from him because I like his clothes, so I don't mind investing in them. Uh, Dion Lee is another show I want to be confirmed for, but I already have pieces from him. So that's another outfit that I have. And then Fee Noel, I, again, I like that brand, so I don't mind investing in it because I would buy it anyway, so. Well, starting off with the KG brunch. Oh, is that the start of the day? That's the start what of the day for now. 11 a.m. to 1. Okay, let's go through the day and then I'll help me. Okay. Um, you could be potentially confirmed for the Pat's Bow show mm -hmm. at noon. But after that, we have Victor Guaman. Yay, which I baked dress for. Hopefully I get that orange thing I picked. Mm -hmm. With a little bit. That was so cute. That would be better. That would and be I moment. wore it with these shoes. Oh, that would be a moment. Was that a full drive? Mm -hmm. So you have that show at 3 p.m., which you're confirmed for. And then the TV show, um, you could be potentially confirmed for that. That starts at 5. So and I would then, just keep on the glow mode thing, probably. And then the glow mode after party is from 5 to 8. So. And then is the Paul Smith confirmed? Um. After that, I see Sergio Hudson oh, at seven, awesome, yeah. which you've been confirmed for, and then the daily front row party. Which again, I probably won't be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. This is a good day. That's a good day. It's a good day. It's full of blackness. Yes. Sergio Hudson is a black designer. Lamode is a black designer. Very excited about these. Yes. Um. <sighs> Okay, and then the brunch is for my agency, so that'll just be like a good kiki and everyone will look cute. We'll be taking lots of pictures mm -hmm. though, so I definitely want a look. Ooh, which look? I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like. So the thing is, the thing is, I'm gonna have to take it off. Exactly, you gotta start with the KG brunch. Right. Look. And then the rest of the day, you but can I can do. go change for Glamode. Mm -hmm. But and then I'm gonna, I would keep that on for Glamode and Titty, but I would change for Sergio Hudson too, just because it's night, so it's a good time to wear like sparkle. I feel like. And would you want to wear his? Stuff? I don't have anything for him. Okay. And I don't think they're gonna loan me anything. Okay. So we need to be prepared. They may. Okay. Um, but we need to be prepared with something. He is a very like classic. I would say designer, like bright colors, but it's very like streamlined, a lot of suits. He did like um, a lot of stuff on Michelle Obama when mm. they were in office. Um, Do we have anything? <laughs> okay, so let's put this, because then this could just be all day Saturday, which is what we wanted. Mm -hmm. And then we just change for Glamode mm -hmm. and wear that there and then mm -hmm. put this back on. And you will wear Glamode to the after, his after party too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think that's good. I think that's good too. Because what we don't want to do is waste outfits. I'd rather save something and move it to another city right? than just put it on for an hour or two. Have wrapped up all of the outfit planning. Hopefully that was helpful, interesting. Um, now we're gonna go eat lunch and carry on with the other priorities for the day. And then I'm gonna pack tomorrow, do my hair, get my nails done, pull myself together, and then I'll see you in the next vlog, which will be New York Fashion Week. I'm very excited. We have a full month ahead of us. We are going to Milan Fashion Week and Paris Fashion Week. Josh is coming with me to all of them. It's going to be very exciting. So I think that's everything. I just walked up the steps. So.
kind of out of breath but i think that's everything make sure you check out all of my bobby brown favorites of course they'll be linked below but definitely the full coverage concealer the face base the eye base my holy grails and i'll link any other favorites i'll link all of my favorites the foundation what else the bronzer the highlighters they'll all be in the description box below um and again if you want a full makeup routine i'll link that at the end of this video somewhere on the screen Okay, I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya!